and welcome back to the channel. And since we're in Lake District, we're going to attempt a sunset. <laughs> I say attempt because we're all clagged in at the minute, but there's very little wind. So you've probably seen the vid previous videos where we've been up at home fell, a bit of reflection, ref photography, the vlog before. We have come to Tova Common. So the reason we're here is for Kelly Hall Tarn. So fingers crossed, even if we don't get a sunset, because we're trying to squeeze through there, even if we don't get a sunset, we might get some nice reflections. So yeah, so come along with us and let's see what I can capture today. It's not a long walk this one, literally part of the van opposite the Land Rover Centre, go through the gate and within 200 yards you come here. As you can see, one or two ripples on it, but not much. We have the tree there, and of course, obviously, everything's clagged in. So, yeah, we'll just see what we can do We're on this little spot. Uh, this is one we are going to have to work with, especially in the conditions we've got at the minute. That's possibly probably one where if you can get down low enough. You can get the tree coming down so it doesn't hit this little island here and you just get enough separation. So I think this could be a starter image, but it is very, very bland look. There's nothing about it at all. So this idea, there's going to be these trees here as well, that you could possibly get reflection at the other side. So yeah, have a little wonder anyway and just see what we can get round here. You can see that not through the viewfinder but this is the next composition just because it's so grey and miserable just try to find something else to go with it so Martin's come down this side here he's got his telephoto lens on I've got the 24 to 105 on but make it try to make use of these reeds in front just another foreground interest so I've got it the tripod at a level so the tree doesn't encroach on these foreground reeds this grass is in the midground Obviously, it is reflected onto them grasses, but at the minute, the background is just blown out totally. So I am just underexposing. I am low enough as well, just to make sure the branches on this tree don't clip any of the fells either side. The far fells in the distance are totally obscure, all low cloud and everything at the moment. So yeah, could even be a nice black and white one this. But what I'll do, I'll pop this one up for the time being and hopefully we might get some light. Keep that fingers crossed. Uh, what I have actually done now, I've actually put the polarizer on. Same composition. So I'll put a shot on now that I've just taken without the polarizer and one with. And the polarizer just seems to take a bit of glare off this foreground. So you can just see it one or two of the little like plants underneath as such and grasses so yeah just try and make this foreground a bit more interesting because there's nothing in the sky that's of interest whatsoever so yeah just try and work with what we've got so obviously we don't come here that often so and with there being very little wind we are still getting a, a slight ripple on the on the tarn but we are getting the reflection so at least we're, at least we're getting something anyway <laughs> so i'll bump both these two on and just let me know which one you like best either the with the polarizer or without the polarizer. Without it, you do get a bit more of a reflection, but I think with it, it just darkens its foreground and puts the emphasis on them grasses in the foreground. So yeah, I'll bump them both on for you anyway, and just let us know what you think. Uh, 
going to show you through the viewfinder. That's the viewfinder at the moment. And that's what we're seeing there. Obviously, I've turned it to a portrait orientation, which homes in more on the tree. I've put the tree bang on the right hand third, just so you've got a, a big vast of emptiness on the left. But obviously with the polarizer on as well, it has really darkened this foreground even more. So the, the water is actually black, but these reeds are yellow and just popping. The yellow against the black really does work. Just hoping now that these ripples just die down a touch. And hopefully we are getting a few bright spots in the clouds up here, but whether it happens for sunset, that's <laughs> we keep trying, don't we? So anyway, I'll bob this portrait one on for you for the time being, and then we'll have a little wander around and see what else we can come up with. On this side now, just to try and make use this bit of a rock here. I'm hand holding, I've still got a tripod set up over there, so I've just bumped the IS up to 320 just to make sure. But basically, the composition was got this rock in the bottom left hand side and the tree in the top right hand side, but there's just nothing happening in this guy at all at the moment. But yeah, we're just waiting and waiting. I've got a bit of a time lapse going. So we'll see what happens with that, whether that comes out or not. I don't know, because there don't want to be any movement at all, but you never know. And I've also taken a shot just down here with some more little reeds in the foreground, quite low to bring the tree towards us as such, because the lower you go, the more it brings it in. So yeah, another couple of shots for you, just while I'm waiting for this sunset, let's say, or, <laughs> or some not. But yeah, we'll wait and see anyway. As we walk around, look, the tree does come further and further, more prominent. Well, you see, Staney over there, look, he's in all them trees, so that could be, could make a nice image, that. Just down here, with these trees in the foreground, and Staney with his bobble that bang in the middle, so yeah. <laughs> I'll give that a go anyway, I'll bob it up. I've just moved a little bit further around now just because the back of the tree you can actually see the fells now where before the low cloud was blanking it off so it was making the tree pop but when you move around the tree cuts into these reeds so it's been a bit of a, a bit of a testing time let's say to try and get that tree right so it does cut into some of the trees on the right hand side but I didn't want the tip of the trees topping any so I've got let me see if put you into the viewfinder. Can you will it? No, it's not gonna do it, unfortunately. But anyway. There we go. So the top the top of it there just doesn't touch the reeds. The sides do, but the top just doesn't touch the reeds. It is it will be a very, very moody shot this. I've got a time lapse going as well, so we'll see what happens with that. But at the minute, there's still no colour, but I'll bob this one on for you. I think we'll, I'll stick with this composition for, for now, just because there's nothing else happening as such. So yeah, I'm just gonna stay with it and just see what happens. But I'll bob this one for the time being. I will probably do a, a portrait shot as well, a vertical shot. Just, you can tell the difference then, because the landscape one, brings in all the tarn on the left hand side, the portrait just homes in on that tree. So yeah, I'll bob these on for you now.
Uh, we are finally getting a bit of light. Not colourful light, but we are getting some light nevertheless. We have got some rolling mist just coming off the fells, just down there, just starting to expose a little bit. But just down here, we are getting a, a touch of light just hitting the side of the tree. So yeah, fingers crossed, it is starting to work. We are just starting to get a touch of colour, and it is a touch. <laughs> As you can see, just around this side here, it needs to just come over this side of the, to the, where the tree is. I have slightly altered the composition. I've got the tree now on the bottom third, I'm trying to get more of this sky in, just to try and catch a bit of that colour. I will go back to the original composition as well, if it comes off. So yeah, so what I'll do now, while we're waiting for this colour to carry on, I'll end it here, so yeah. As before, we're going to the pub, so I'll enjoy all these final images. So, see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>